dock with scooters that are scattered all around campus and we think that they could be really beneficial for people to get easy transportation, not just around campus, but around cities. The purpose of this video is to get people on board with these dockless scooters so we could have easier transportation. And we know some people don't really like the idea of these scooters, but we're trying to show you here that people should give them a chance and try and ride them. So the civil engineering aspect of these scooters basically entails just the sidewalks, bike paths, streets that all the scooters need to ride on in order for it to be easy and safe. The next five years, these scooters are gonna be way more advanced because of the roads that are gonna be better. They might be more equipped for the scooters. We can immediately spot the application we use to unlock and to um, report the scooters if, anyone, if anything is broken. So, looking five years into the future of those electric scooters, um, we can identify a, a quite a lot of uh, aspect of the scooter that will be improved um, in, a, in the field of computer science and engineering. For example, we can see that um, the second version of the scooter, the second generation scooters, already have a uh, LED display screen that has um, that displays the speed and the battery power compared to. Um, the only um, block of QR code uh, from the first generation. The dockless scooter systems actually have a huge aspect of mechanical engineering incorporated into them. Whether it's the motors that power them, the chassis, or the frame, or any of the moving parts, that is all a mechanical engineer that is designing them. Now personally, in five years, I do believe that the scooters will be more powerful. The way that motor technology has been improving, I do believe that the motors will be more powerful and more efficient, and more likely to not only be faster, but also able to make it up hills easier.